when we're trying to solve a triangle, you can't solve it all at once. You got to take a little piece by little piece. Uh, and the first thing that I look at is angles. And when I look at these angles, uh, a couple things jump out to me. First of all, angle C is at 90 degrees. That means we have a right triangle. Right triangles are sweet. Um, the other thing is that I've got two angles. So to find the third one, I know there's 180 degrees in a triangle. I've already used 90 degrees for angle C and 61 degrees for angle B. So when I subtract them off, then I'm just left with angle A. And so just doing that subtraction, you should get 29, making angle A 29 degrees. Now, like I said, this is a right triangle, which is super sweet, because if this is 29 degrees, and I know that it's side A, the side opposite of angle A is 12, then finding B and C aren't so bad. So um, let's find angle B first. Since I have an angle, it's opposite side, and angle B is its adjacent side. Opposite and adjacent means tangent. So the tangent of 29 degrees is going to be 12 over angle B. So I'll just multiply both sides by B to get rid of the fraction. And then divide by tangent in order to get B alone. Now I have a nice little expression, so we go ahead, type that into the calculator. Make sure you're in degree mode. Then we get an answer of 21.648. So that's the length of B, 21.648. Now, like we said, this is a right triangle. And one of the first things you ever learned about right triangles was Pythagorean theorem, where A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Uh, a is 12, so I'm just going to plug that in right there, 12 squared. B is 21.648, so we'll square that, and we should get that to equal C squared. Uh, in order to finish it up, I'll just take the square root of both sides. That'll give me something that I can just type into my calculator all at once, typing in the square root of 12 squared plus 21.648 squared. Then the answer we get, 24 0.751 is going to be the length of the hypotenuse, 24.751. Before leaving this problem, you should kind of check things. And by checking things, what you want to check is, is the smallest angle opposite the smallest side? And is the largest angle opposite the largest side? If those two cases are true, then you probably did it right.